This is a cheap way to mount your recovery boards and the shovel on the stock crossbars. Uh, so I bought this Yakima 23H Mighty Mounts. Oh, it's back. Oh. <laughs> Fast. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so after all that and <laughs> distractions, so you want to mount your recovery board and shovel to your stock crossbars on a GX470. You get Mighty Mount 23H. Uh, they used to not make these no more, but they actually make them now. And here's what I do. I'll show you an example. So it comes like this. And you put it in your crossbar. You, it's, uh, it gives you a 5 16 bolt. You just get a long 5 16 bolt here to the nut. Uh, I was gonna mount my recovery boards to the holes. Put it on top, and also got uh, the star nub uh, knobs to tie it in. Yeah. Nice. And oh, that's for the shovel. Come here. I got these. Uh, what's it called? I use them already, but they're they cooks sort of or something. I forgot. What here. I have them. So it looked like this. Uh, it might be a little too tight, but it's not going anywhere. Let me take it apart so you can see. Fast forward. Okay, so. It's pretty much the Yakima 23H mini mount, uh, the 516 long bolt. Uh, went through up here. I got a washer and I got this uh, locking nut. You're gonna need this because when you put this star stud on, it might turn the bolt loose. Uh, overall, the most expensive part was the mini mounts. That's like 50 bucks right there. Maybe less, 40, I think. Um, bolt. I mean, Two one dollar washer, less than a dollar bolt, maybe a dollar each or so. The studs probably the star studs, uh, probably like ten bucks. I don't know. Amazon beats two k at a uh, for a roof rack. So, anyways, here's what I didn't do yet. I'm gonna do that now. I just had to put this here and then get another one and just turn it all around until it fits. Yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I'll show you the final, final. So this is how it looks like. I couldn't do the shovel, so I forget it. There's two knobs. And it's just stay in place. Only bad thing I can't park in the garage no more. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. That's it. That's how it looks. Here's how it looks like with the boards off. Focus. Alright, it's like that. Oh, not lighting. Yeah. It looks like empty. I'm gonna just zip ties for the shovel. <laughs> Are you ready? Alright, uh, passenger. Yep, keep going. You got it? Alright, no, uh, no, 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 no. Reverse, reverse. More? More? Alright, all right, cool, cool driver. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Straighten out, straighten out. Yeah, boy. So you probably just watched, uh, the roof rack in Mojave Desert. I'm gonna take it out now because it can't fit in the garage. I'll put it back on once I go off roading. See, I'm gonna just take this out. Just take it, unbolt this, and it'll come right out. I think. Oh, actually, no, I can't take it out. Man. Okay. 
I might just have to mark here. Yeah, I have to take up the crossbars. <laughs> okay. Because this won't go down. Okay, I'll, I'll just mark it with a permanent marker. So instead of taking it out, um, I'm just going to mark it in the middle. Uh, if it washes out, whatever. I'll just, I'll just take more time next time. So that's the middle of the crossbar. Put it there. Middle of the crossbar. About right there. Yeah, I'll mark that too. And my dog. Angus's cat. No, I just gotta take it up. I found that it's easier to take out with the mallet, just hit both sides.